How's it going guys? This is the modded Minecraft Let's Play. My name of course is System Z and you are awesome. Welcome to part two of the Let's Play. Today we're going to be dealing with Tinker's Construct. It's really bright so I'm just going to zoom back in. But yes, we're going to be doing uh, Tinker's Construct today which is exciting because that'll be the first time we're actually doing anything with a mod. Look at the background, that is beautiful. Man, that's so cool. Anyways, that was some like Grand Theft Auto lighting there. I got rid of the Hunger Overhaul mod because I didn't like it, and that's that. <laughs> it's not really that different, it's just I get to not starve as much, and uh, I also get to stack food a lot more, so I just prefer it that way, and that's we're just going to end it at that. <laughs> no, no, if, uh, if you guys are playing along, then you know feel free to play with it, but I just didn't like it, I needed to remove it. Uh, it was cool with this type of stuff though, so I'm a little, I'm going to miss it in terms of farming because you could like hold down bone mill and just farm for days but uh, I, it's not really worth it <laughs> I just didn't like running around and constantly losing hunger so quickly but anyways that's not what this episode is about like I said we're doing Tinker's Construct so I've got the basic materials for today's project and it's gonna be really cool and I'm really excited but first we're gonna get rid of these and uh, and just quit the game no, we are going to make an iron furnace, bada boom, which requires iron plates, which requires a forge hammer. We've, we can easily do that. Check it out. Boom. And then we'll do that. And then that. Place it there. Do that. Make a sideways door hammer. Boom. And then if we throw that in there and that in there. Uh, come on. Nope. There we go. I can do that. And then we need like what? Ten. Yeah. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How easy. <laughs> and then if we throw that in there, actually we could just do that, that, and then I thought I could do that, but I guess not. <laughs> it shows us the recipe though, so that's that's good enough, I guess. Yeah, we'll do that and then take one there. Boom, boom. There we go. So two iron furnaces. And what do those do, System Z? Well, good viewer, those are just faster furnaces. And I, I love that. Or is it furni? <laughs> they're just faster and I love that they, they just cook much quicker about double the speed at least I think it's double the speed which is awesome let's go ahead and make the seared grout stuff I am grout I believe is what it says I am grout there we go and we'll cook those up lovely we're on our way to excellence in this I think that's the right uh, pronunciation but yeah you can see it's cooking a lot quicker there and we get a seared brick which takes us on to what we're gonna do next which is of course create the stuff we need which is seared bricks, but we're not gonna do that just yet. Actually, I should probably check and see how to make this. Oh no, we're gonna need glass for a tank. I need more sand though. Um, well, sand isn't really that hard to get considering it's like right here, so I'm just gonna grab one. Don't judge me, we'll come to the edge so it's not as noticeable. And boop, there we go. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna use this as a time to talk about why I haven't really uploaded part two any sooner. Uh, or any video for that matter. It seems like all I'm doing now is just making excuses, you know, day after day. And I'm really sorry about that. I, I do not like the idea of me just never really making consistent videos because I spent most of 2016 trying to do that. And to be honest, it's just an unfortunate series of bad luck. Genuinely. Like, I got sick the moment I was able to record. The moment work slowed down, I caught a cold. And I don't know if you can hear it. It's it's still pretty bad, but I, I'm feeling a lot better, and I can actually breathe, <laughs> which allows me to record in the first place. Uh, but now, hopefully, nothing else will happen unless just a magic earthquake just happens out of nowhere. Uh, you know, the rare occurrence that it ever happens where I live, and then just everything gets destroyed. That's the only thing I can really think that would stop me, other than laziness. But I'm not going to be lazy. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do today, other than work with the seared bricks. Let me grab these apples, because apples are great. Apples are good. Give me those. All right, that's good. <laughs> we're going to run over here and throw that in there. Hush, Cricket, you're too loud. And uh, <laughs> we're going to come right to this little piece of wood and stare at it for a little while. Now, we're actually going to be building a really cool little platform for our Tinker's Construct thing. 
But I'm going to do it in montage format because I have a series dedicated to building. And you guys can watch that if you want to learn how to build. No, I'm kidding. I'm going to do a building here as well, but I do want to do this one in montage format. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use these materials here, and I will see you guys once it's completed. That is pretty much how you build a smelter platform. Look at that. This thing looks amazing. This is actually the second time I've built it, unfortunately, because apparently when I brought my uh, my camera account on here, it didn't want to save, which is very unfortunate and very unlucky. And I actually forgot something, apparently. I hope I actually still have the resources. I, uh, I clean things out, but yeah, I had to do it an entirely second time. What kind of luck is that? <laughs> I need more limestone now. Actually, do I have any in there? I do. Perfect. Perfect. That's what I forgot. I wanted to add some of that in there, but yeah, uh, I still included it nonetheless. That way you guys could see me build it the first time, but this is a slightly different in shape uh, addition. I don't know how I'm going to fix that. Apparently... Like, the save files must be different because I made sure to, like, make it, you know, the continuity, like, 100%. I think that's the word. <laughs> but no, it, it was really weird. It just didn't want to work. So, uh, this is pretty much a new design, but that's not really any big deal. Uh, I think it looks really, really cool. We used this uh, Delomite and the limestone, of course the seared bricks in the center, as where as as where, <laughs> as well as mud bricks. Which I had some mud. Honestly, it was a cheat. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I got it essentially whenever I built or crash landed uh, <laughs> into this area. This is mud, as you can see. So that is kind of a cheat, but hey, it's just building. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and there's some of the mud balls. Uh, but yeah, all right, so now we are going to do where did I put it? Well, there's one glass we need that of course I think it's there. There we go We are going to do the seared bricks, so we're essentially gonna need you know what we're gonna save like half of them uh, But we're just gonna need a few bricks, and we're gonna make a cool design wait only nine what? They are some expensive bricks. Oh, no, I needed some steel. That's that's a bummer Oh, no, I'm going to have to go get more sand. I didn't know that it required that much. That's only 32. We need at least a little bit for a tank. That's not good. Oh, no. I did not think it would be that expensive. We can get some of this sand, though. I need, Is there a sand machine? Let me know. Is there a sand machine? I feel like there's got to be something. I, mods are just crazy. You never know. There could be a sand generator. It could be all sorts of stuff. Uh, all right, so we've got gravel and clay, so I'm not really worried about that. Man, I did not think it would be that expensive. Okay, so I kind of understand now. It's essentially, I messed up. <laughs> the bricks are expensive, but you don't need just the bricks. Uh, as you can see here, the smeltery drain is only bricks, uh, or well, one brick instead of, you know, block bricks, these things. So that is why they're so expensive. So I'm not really that worried about it now. Uh, we're gonna need a casting table as well. We need a few things. This is exciting though. This is definitely the first time I'm getting to this uh, This area of Tinker's contract. It's been a really long time since I've done anything with the mod I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so let's go ahead. I, I guess we're gonna need one more. You know what? Let's split that in half. That's probably not even enough to be honest. Ah oh, Man, it really isn't. <laughs> let's go ahead and make the drain. We are gonna need that of course. So boom seer tank Not a tank. Uh, not a drain. Tank. Yes. So there's the seared tank. Now we let's go ahead and I guess place these. Now I know you're gonna think I'm crazy for this, but it's part of the design. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, we're gonna run over here and just start placing the materials that we need. <laughs> it's not gonna be. It's really not gonna be efficient at all the way I'm gonna do this. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. It's gonna look pretty uh, good though, which is important. It's more important than anything that it looks good, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. That. We're going to just bring those two there. We are going to stack those up by three. And I believe these back here by three as well. And then even do that. We're going to get rid of that. So give me that right there. 
and we are going to get our seared brick slabs here. We're going to put one brick there, do a slab there, there, and then we're going to do one there, 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 and there. Okay, so that is pretty much the overall tank design. It looks really cool, right? It looks really cool. It's just that we still have to implement a few materials, a, a few things that we need, rather, a few things that we're going to need to make this work. So I really got to get to crafting those. It looks like the day's almost over, which is unfortunate. Let's, uh, wow, we are really not going to have enough here. Well, I know we're going to need two of the drains. I really messed up, didn't I? Ah, <sighs> You know what? Let's actually make the controller first. I think that might be better. The controller, yeah, because <laughs> that's one of the more expensive ones. So we'll do that, and I'll go place that. I guess I'm just going to have to go out and get more bricks. So I'll see you guys here once I've done that. All right, I've got pretty much everything we need, I believe so anyways. I know because we have the tank, we have the controller. Now all we really need is the drain and the faucet, I'm pretty sure. This isn't good. <laughs> oh yeah, I could just put the uh, casting bin there on the ground. All right, so drain there. Nope, wrong way. So we're going to do that, take that back, do that, that. <clears throat> I hope, right? No, wrong way. They were the right way. I, uh, You can tell I don't do this much. So we're going to do that. Yeah, and I already filled that up with lava, by the way. That, and then if we come down here and we place our casting tables there, and then on the other side. Oh, I'm so nervous. And then if we get our faucet here, place those on the edge. Then now we should have a working tank. And if we go in here and throw stuff in there, we should be good. Now, I read through the book, <laughs> you know, we got another, I don't know where it is, where is it? Uh, the magical book from the uh, magical librarian in the sky. <laughs> and I was reading, you know, in here and other sources like online, and uh, this aluminum brass seems to be something we need. So, I've, uh, I've gotten aluminum and copper. I can't talk, apparently. <laughs> aluminum and copper. And I'm hopeful that if we throw these in here, then we will pretty much be able to make the aluminum brass because we need them. Okay, so while that's going, I have something cool that I'd like to make. Do I have the stuff? No, I do not have it in there. Uh, something that I just, I feel like is gonna be so useful. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, it's, it's gonna be the most useful thing ever. I've already gotten stuff prepared there. Do I have two books? Huh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna need this bad boy. Whoa, that's extremely hard to break. There we go. Oh, I don't know why I jumped back. That was weird. It's like I got scared of it. Uh, okay, where is everything? Do I have it on me? Uh-oh. No, there we go. Okay. It scared me. <laughs> All right, so if we throw that there and then get our iron blocks and then some seared bricks, then we get our tool forge, which we can use to make the lubber axe, which is something that I really, really, really want. So what do we need? We need essentially... Uh, a it's not gonna tell us but I think I know everything so we're gonna need one of these we'll do that we're gonna need a I think a large one right yeah a large one we might already have the creeper we do not so we'll get the creeper and then we need a uh, tough rod right I thought I had that already but I guess not uh, tough rod where's that I think that's that one right yeah okay tough rod and then if we come over to the part builder throw some wood in there. I mean, I'm not going to make the best one ever, but this will do, right? Just to kind of play around with it. Uh, actually, you know what? No. No, 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 no. We're going to do something better. Well, I guess we are going to have to do this off the bat. <laughs> okay, let's uh, do I have any more cobblestone? Like, I always throw this stuff away, which is never a good thing. We'll do that, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and make the parts. Why not? Uh, unless I can't afford it, which I can't. Okay, that'll just have to wait. <laughs> I, I'm just going to make like a stronger one, a cobblestone one. Unless I have stone there. I mean, I have dolomite, but does that... I feel like that should break his cobblestone. I don't know. <laughs> that might work, actually. We may as well try it. Um, Where am I at? Yeah. So we're going to come here. Do that. Yes, okay, that works. Cool. Glad I had some left over. So wait, we have that now. Then we're going to need one of these. Then we're going to need a tough binding, and then we're going to need a tough rod. Boom, 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 and we're good. And then we're going to throw 
these all in here. Clean up our inventory. I made way too many of those. That's for sure. Okay, and now, pardon me. I I know I'm rushing around a lot, but I, I've got something cool in mind here, and let's go ahead and grab that. Now, if we come over here, okay, we've got aluminum now. If we throw that in there as well, that's going to do that for us. Now, the aluminum, to get it on top, do I just press it? I don't know if it needs to be on top. That's Okay, so that, yeah. All right, so now the aluminum brass is there. If I place one of these here, then that should create a cast. I can take that out, and then I have a cast. And with that cast, I can make more, like, materials, better materials, like out of iron and out of other materials, I think, right? I know all of you are like, um, duh. But I'm, like, completely astonished at this. This is really cool. So if we come over here and grab these tools, then... Now, I don't know if I need iron, like, tough rods and whatnot right now. I'm probably just going to focus mainly on the head, just so that way we can, uh, you know, we can get, like, you know, everything we need right now. And then eventually, once I have more resources, we can do that. Uh, but now that we've done that, if we come over here and select the molten iron, throw down our cast, and then let's move everything. Messy inventory is always fun. <laughs> and then that hopefully doesn't break we should be good to go I mean it should just make unless it's breaking oh there we go okay and then I take that out do that and that should do it as well so with that yeah there we go okay <laughs> look at me I'm a master I don't know I didn't need any help I did it all on my own <laughs> no I'm kidding but this is extremely cool so now if we come over here and first I want to make that lumber axe throw those in there what is it, a tough rod? And then that, wrong order. Wrong order, look at me. An iron lumber axe. Okay, this is, we're making progress. And then of course a pickaxe, which we'll do out of the basic materials. Boom, an iron pickaxe. And now we have our tools. And now what we can do is take like, uh, I'm pretty sure lapis is like luck, right? I have lapis somewhere. Boom, lapis. And if we come over here, throw that in there, and then that there, it gives us luck. Now, I don't know how much of it it gives us, and if we can't, like, can we not, like, get more? <laughs> I want luck. This is, just give me all the luck. I need all the luck I can right now. So this is really cool because Tinker's Construct, you know, I like that it allows you to modify tools this way because, you know, it just helps with progression, and it's just so cool. I love it. But yeah, we've got now pretty much luck. Now I don't want to use it all on that. So let's take that off. Now we've just got a nice new tool to use. And we can throw more resources in the uh, smeltery and do all that kind of stuff. So I think we've made great progress today. And I'm just kind of peeking around at everything. <laughs> Actually, what else do I have? I have a few things. I don't know if like gold and diamond. I know gold would. I don't know if diamond would really do anything in here. Let's, let's take the proper way up. There we go. And I, I think, too, another thing is if you just throw the gold ore in there as well, that'll do. Like, that'll go in there, right? It should. But as you can see now, we blood. What? That's creepy. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, we, we should be good then. Now, if I throw ore in there, it should do the same thing. I don't think I'm going to have to smelt beforehand or anything. So I've got a lot to do. I've got a lot of mining to do, and I've got a lot of organization to do. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much all the time I have today. Literally cut for time. My inventory is still messy. <laughs> so sorry if it seemed rushed, but uh, I wanted to get an episode in as soon as I could. But guys, thank you so much for all the support on this episode and last. This is going to be a fun series. I have a question for you. Please let me know how in the world I get started with industrial craft. Because I'm pretty sure there's ways to like duplicate, duplicate ore. But, like, I don't know how to do it. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's going to be all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you enjoy Minecraft, subscribe, of course. And, uh, yeah, so you guys have a wonderful day. My name has been System Z. You guys have been awesome. Thanks for watching.